All right, guys, welcome back to TWE Charts. AMC, man, we're going to be looking at the macro trajectory here and the cycle. So market cycles and historical uh, patterns in the market, historical stocks we're going to be tracking. And uh, so I can explain this whole thing because I think what AMC is about to do here on the macro is really bullish. Um, I know we had this most recent pump. Uh, one of the things I had posted on Twitter about this was the ROC, the changes indicator, right? Uh, so the parameter that I used for this was five. I wanted to really narrow down the the days uh, tracking here so we could see the volatility throughout the entire AMC chart. Okay, so these levels, all right, on that five-day parameter, we have not seen since June. Okay, so the entire time, all right, following the June dump, distribution, and then entering this new phase that we're in, AMC has not seen this much volatility. So this definitely establishes some kind of, of, of change, right, a uh, shift in direction, even though the price got shut down. And I'm going to explain that here in this video. Um, first, guys, remember subscribe like this video for support i'll be posting a lot more often here and going live in, in in the next few uh few weeks covering this whole deal all right okay so with the volatility change here right this drastic volatility uh, uh change we went about 200 percent on a five-day average is huge and uh the pump and dump here what we're seeing is we're just seeing a uh, hedging right with these options and these market makers that that love to manipulate the the stock right these stock using leverage just infinite basically infinite amount of of shares uh, just a loophole in the way that that price is driven right so with that guys uh, let's go ahead and talk about this this macro trajectory and options because this is really what it comes down to at the end of the day. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at another stock here for reference. All right, this is Carvana. All right, we're going to be taking a look at two years in Carvana's cycle. There's a few things to track here, guys. So we have the macro trajectory that is being traced uh, through quad witching date. So every quad witching date you see here in blue, all right, we have the last five since uh, January 2023. So um, with the macro trajectory and the way it's established is understanding what phase you're in in the market. So with Carvana, okay, we know that the declining phase was uh, was a lot quicker than AMC. Okay, here are the phases for AMC. This is my projection, what I have uh, in the next year. And I'll show the... Uh, the the uh, the projection with the with the option expiration dates as well, uh, but you can see that with AMC we 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 had a a much larger redistribution phase, meaning that once the price pumped like crazy, right, it all happened so quickly in a matter of a week or two, they bled this thing slowly, very very slowly. Um, they also had the opportunity to reset the option chain twice which is pretty relevant to this whole um, price target here that I'm going to be talking about. Okay, With Carvana, on the other hand, the cycle here is a lot. Uh, it's got less volatility, right? We can see that it takes a lot longer to bring it up to a range, and then it also takes... Um, it's quicker on the way down, but it also kind of takes its time uh, just looking at the stock independently and the way that volatility functions within the stock, this is pretty smooth. Now, every stock, guys, is going to have its own its own uh, cycle in, in terms of how long, you know, redistribution, accumulation, how long these periods last. Some of them are quicker, some of them are slower, right? With AMC, we're starting to see this accumulation period, what could be accumulation period, um, a lot quicker. And what you're seeing here on the way down is just a mix of both. It's a mi mix of accumulation and uh, short-term redistribution. We saw it go up, and then it started to climb back down into these lower levels. 
Now with Carvana, on the other hand, this accumulation phase lasted from uh, early, yeah, it, it seems like early January of 2022, or 2023. You can see it pumps, they bring it back down, and then it starts to reaccumulate before advancing it. This thing is just shooting up right now. The trajectory is bullish. So we're taking it, we're taking from the quad witching dates. That's going to give us a nice trajectory for the upside. And I got a 20, about a 21, 22 uh, percent angle here in, in, in what the trajectory is showing us. Now with, with the expiration dates, we have two, we have standard uh, option expiration dates, which usually expire the third Friday of, of every, every month. And then we have the quad witching dates. We have four of those every single year. So both of these are very important uh, to understand how hedging takes place in the stock market, how these market makers are able to, to drive the price up and down using options. For AMC, I've taken the, the, the same kind of approach that I have here. And this is my projection. Again, I think accumulation is where we're currently in, but we're trying to exit that. And one of the reasons I think we're exiting this is because of how so how high the price went here in May. This is the first time this year where we see the price absolutely just explode. Um, it, with Carvana, it did it a lot earlier. Right? You go back to Carvana in that year, in that cycle year, it did it the first, pretty much the first month. And it also did it, um, it, it took its time, right? It took about a month to get to that range. But you can see it does go from $3 to about 20 For AMC, we have it go from 250 to about almost 14 right? So about the same percentage return. You can see how hedging is taking place here. Now, on the way down, Carvana does, you know, does bleed for, for quite some time. From February to about May, you started to see, you know, come back up. Uh, these guys got market makers have um, have time. That's their advantage, right? We understand that with options, there's something called theta decay. When options expire, okay, if the depending on where the price is trading, uh, the the value of that option, the premium is going to go down if the price remains flat. If it's trading sideways, also volatility is a big deal. Whenever there is extreme volatility, premiums go up. They're very expensive, but when volatility comes down, say the price gets shut down, it trades sideways for, for a few months, volatility will take a hit as well. Okay, so with all that, now we need to understand if the macro trajectory has changed. We know that the market right now is trailing up. It could be at a standstill, right, where it trades sideways for a few months. Does that give the opportunity for some of these smaller cap stocks to start finally, you know, climbing back up? Meme stocks, right? Because we do have the mid caps. Uh, you know, they went up last year. We also have the, you know, you know the 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 mega cap, Nvidia going up way before all these guys, and trading at all time highs when the small caps have just been, you know, beat, beat, beat. So with these cycles, it, it's just like sector rotation, right? In the in the stock market. When different sectors start pumping, right, typically other sectors are either trailing down, they're trading sideways. Um, and in this case, AMC, we're starting to see that, uh, that turn around here for, for good, it seems like. Uh, two things that need to happen, though, for this to, you know, for this to hold is that AMC does need to hold the current low. Um, if we want to see a change in trajectory here, Right, this is the trajectory line that I have. If we want to see this, then AMC has to be creating higher lows. Not that we can't see, you know, like a spring effect, right, where it comes down and then it starts climbing back up. That could happen, but normally the way you see it uh, with these, uh, with with the market makers that that have everything pretty much planned ahead uh, and know what's going to happen, you know, when the volume, you know, is going to be kicking in, and and pretty much let go to do whatever the price is going to do. We need to we need to uh, see also the technicals line up in, in some form of way. They have to be, um, they have to line up in some form of way. And I do believe that the bottom is in here. So I 
do want to see you know the price start to turn around here going into the next few weeks. Uh, here's the projection I have for the quad witching and the standard options, right? The, the ones that expire every every uh, third of the Friday of the month. And what I think is going to happen, there's multiple variations of this, right? We have the first variation is that we start climbing up into the next quad witching date, which is June. Uh, and it also happens to be the next uh, standard option uh, expiration date. So both of these right here in June. And the trajectory here is pretty much telling us that from the last quad witching date, the price would go up about 160%. Uh, with Carvana, okay, this is almost two years of data, so it's a little bit different. Uh, what I want to be taking a look at here just for you know the comparison between both cycles is well, the start of the year, right? And then the end of that, or pretty much the leap, right? The leap expiration, which in this case uh, would have been right here for Carvana. So we know that it basically did this in a year, right? It exited accumulation and went into a reaccumulation phase. And right now it's advancing. It's going up higher. Okay, so same thing with AMC, right? It starts off going down instead, which is fine. And then here is that that leap expiration, which is going to be right over here in January, right? Right here. All right, so an entire an entire year's worth of 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 a cycle, right? It's what we call a cycle. Now, for for uh, Carvana, all right, th there's there's different ways that market makers tend to um, release volume, right? It, in order for the price to to increase or decrease very quickly. Uh, and it all has to, you know, it's independent to the way the stock behaves, also independent in, in the way that retail trades uh, that specific stock, right? We know that AMC is a, it's a meme stock. So it's, it's going to be different in the way that the price goes up and down. That's why we're seeing the surge of volume goes up very quickly. One of the videos I posted last year, uh, or not last year, in 2022, uh, it talks about how market makers have this cap, right? This money cap in in the way that they're able to to sort of distribute this volume in each cycle, and it pretty much explains that some you know some cycles have a slower distribution or a slower accumulation phase, uh, but pretty much that that cap of of money has a threshold, right? If you exceed that threshold usually you tend to see some of these squeezes uh, in the markets. And with AMC, you know, they did shut this down. So it just tells us that the cycle is, in, is, is working, right? The cycle is doing its thing. Uh, so with that, if we take the section here of accumulation for Carvana, right? And we understand that some of these levels are also going to be very similar. So it going up to the degree uh, in which we saw last week, it was pretty much the same thing, guys. 3 to 20. This is 250 to 14. It got shut down, and now we're trading at the same, pretty much the same range for the next bottom, which if you look at over here was $6. For AMC, that would be equivalent to 4 which is, you know, it's currently trading at 440 Uh Once it starts climbing back up, because this cycle is a little bit late, if you know, starting from January, it is a little bit late. We already saw them really... Uh, you know, put pressure on the stock, brought it down to all-time lows. So from here, I do think it goes up. I don't see us coming back down, which means that some of these sections, some of these phases inside this macro cycle are likely to be sped up uh, when comparing the two, right? Comparing Carvana and an AMC cycle in one year. Uh, so from the looks of it, uh, it seems that by the next expiration date, if this, you know, if this becomes a... A, a bullish trajectory on the macro, we should see uh, AMC hit resistance again at about $14. Okay, And it could do it any way as long as the trajectory here, guys, uh, brings us up to about 25 by the end of the year. I think we could see 40 by early next year.
Um, and this is just a this is just a projection again based on how markets function and how market makers tend to um, sort of do this whole thing on the way up as well because things do get shut down very quickly. But this doesn't mean that the stock is done, right? It doesn't mean that if the bullish you know, if the trajectory does change to be bullish, this is just going to be a small hiccup. And, and you know, AMC's price is going to get ready to turn around here. So reaccumulation is, is fun. I, I will say this is what we call the projector pattern in, in, uh, in, uh, on the Discord and pretty much just the entire, the entire AMC and, and GameStop uh, thing here that we did for a little while. We, we know that the projector pattern is very important before we see major volume coming in. Uh, so what's happening right now, it is, you know, expected to be choppy, but after this phase is over, okay, in the advancing stage, that's where we really start to see that volume kicking in, and, uh, and you know, the price keeps going up higher and higher and higher. Uh, so now to the levels, right? So if we take a look at the $40 target, um, I do believe that this is a, it's a doable target uh, because it is where macro liquidity, uh, liquidity lies, Right. So we know that right around this range, there's a lot of volume on AMC's uh, chart. So um, taking a look at that, you know, it doesn't. AMC reaching that target also doesn't uh, doesn't go back to its all time highs or anything like that. You do have to look at market cap because market cap is huge. AMC has been diluted a few times, and uh, and obviously that dilutes the the shareholders. So. If it goes up to that $40 target, right, we take a look at market cap, which is also a, a very important thing. It would technically uh, go up very close to its all-time high in terms of market cap, right? So it's almost like equivalent uh, for it to cross or get very near that June level. Um, the $100 range, I believe, would be that that all-time high if you if you take a look at you know the split and everything like that hundred dollars would be that level uh, or 80 and uh, and yeah AMC could get there at some point um, but it has to do it in a you know in a slow matter because stocks with an option chain typically don't just go up right and they'll just keep going up forever they have to establish a trajectory that's very important guys uh, so that is what I got for this video, man. I'm going to be, again, I'm going to be posting more updates on this. I'll have a, a um, also a projection that you can track on my trading view posted. And, and you know, we'll be tracking that till the end of the year. See where the price goes from there. If you guys want more content like this, again, subscribe, hit the like button. And check out the Discord below as well. We take a look at, you know, we apply this, this, um, this strategy here this approach to many other stocks in the market we use something else you know in the markets uh, pattern analysis when we take we compare stocks that have similar uh, patterns that have you know played out in the past before and uh, it's it's real fun in there so check that out as well link below see you guys on the next stream all right bye bye